students, the purpose of this video is to give you and show you the safety for the planer. All right, let me uh, put the GoPro on here and let's get started. I'm hoping I have it adjusted right so you can see everything that I'm doing. Um, the last video I talked about the operation, how to adjust our depth. Um, we talked about the, uh, the speed of the uh, infeed of your parts and those kind of things, okay? This is specifically uh, the safety that you'll need for this machine. First thing I wanna start with is you need to know that on this machine, I have to be here with you to run it, okay? Even though you've passed the test, even though you've performance tested on it, I have to be here because if we mess up on this machine, um, you could damage the 250 blades that are in there on our helical cutter head. So it's important for me to be here and we'll double check your thickness of your part and the uh, depth on our setting of the machine. Okay, so the safety quiz, the first question before turning on the machine, make all adjustments. That is true, okay? Adjustments to the depth, okay? So how do we do that? Well, I have measured my parts and we're at a half inch right now. We've got a different way, a couple different things we could do to measure, right? Tape measure, dial caliper, all right? So we're at a half inch. I'm gonna move my height adjustment wheel to take this to a half inch. See my depth gauge there? going, uh, remember, a half a turn is our max, a, I'm sorry, a half a turn is our recommended depth. That measure uh, would take us uh, another 30 seconds off. A full turn clockwise would remove a 16th inch. So I'm just gonna go the recommended half turn, a 30 second. Okay, we're gonna fire it up and uh, we would run it, okay? but this is just a safety, so I don't know that I need to do that right now. May do it on another question. So, before turning on the machine, set your depth. Measure twice, cut once, right? You've heard that before. Stock must be how long? And that goes for any machine, okay? You've heard that on several machines, table saw, miter saw, Radio arm saw, same for the planer. 10 inches is our shortest piece. What do we have here? Yeah, we've got 12. I don't want you, it'll do it. I don't want you cutting under 10 though for safety. I want that length, you know, to be uh, on our bed and or fence on different machines. Now, you need to know on this machine, anything under 13 inches, is going to get stuck in the machine. So we have to send a chaser board behind it. And if the chaser board is under 13, then we need a longer board to push it on through. Okay? So we could get uh, as short as 10 inches through here with a uh, chaser board to push it on through. But same as other machinery, I don't want you machining anything under 10 inches. What's our next question? Feed stock, is it with the grain or against the grain? Guys, never across the grain, always with the grain. Do you see the grain? You need to know which direction the grain is on every machine, not just the planer, with the grain, okay? So if I was machining a panel, I wouldn't want to send it through this way, right? This is with the grain. You send it across the grain and it's gonna tear up your board. It's gonna ruin your panel. So we've talked about that on other machines. Table saw with the grain. Radio arm saw is across the grain, right? Same thing with the miter saw. Those are the only two machines where we're cross cutting for now. Other machines can do it, but that's the way I'm setting you up in our class. Make sure you know which direction the grain is running. 
plainer it has to go with the grain all right next question it says uh blank look into the throat of the planer to see what is that it is operating correctly so if i'm sending a board through here does it make any sense at all to you to be down here looking into the throat of the machine i would hope not you don't want to be here okay if it kicks back it's going to hit you matter of fact you don't want to even be standing in front of your board you want to be to the side of your board same as the table saw in case there's a kickback so it doesn't hit you so never um never look into the throat of the planer while it is operating okay the maximum depth of cut do you remember i told you earlier on this video the maximum is a full turn that's a 16th of an inch a half a turn is a 32nd that's recommended that you go half turns each time until you get it smooth or to your thickness we can safely do it up to a 16th or a full turn so a 16th is the answer for maximum number seven hold the board with your fingers on the blank as you feed it into the machine to avoid getting pinched guys girls on the edges do not put your finger underneath because what happens is when it reaches the infeed roller it's gonna it's gonna press it firmly against our bed if your flush is under there ouch major pinch same thing on the uh, surface sander by the way always feed it in with your fingers on the edges not underneath the face don't get pinched okay next question number eight have the instructor check the beginning height setting before you send a board through the planer that's true measure twice right i may let you set it up but then i'm gonna double check it before we run it through we need to be very accurate on that first pass especially then from there we know one full turns max or a half a turn is recommended so the answer is true have the instructor check the depth setting number nine it is okay to leave the planer while running no nope. we never leave any machine in the shop while it is running if you're going to leave the machine you turn it off last question a backer board is used to plane a board thinner than a quarter inch what does that mean so let's say i wanted to take my boards down this thin that's a little under a quarter inch to do that on the planer i would need to send it through on a backer board for support otherwise it's too flimsy and the machine's going to tear it up so yep that's what a backer board is um, for the projects I've assigned you, we're not planing anything that thin. Matter of fact, we try not to go under three quarters of an inch for the projects I've assigned you so far. So the answer is true. A backer board must be used when, a, when planing a board uh, to a quarter inch or thinner. All right, guys, that is our safety for the surface planer. I'll see you next time.